Alright, where were we? Um... Do I have it so that I've went through here already? Yes, yes I do. Okay. So can I call fires in here? Okay, I already got that. Gotta make sure I call them everywhere. That's neat. Oh, I want a poster for my puzzles. And maybe a few opening bands. They could play my theme song. I just need to get a theme song. Don't worry, Pyrus, you have one. <laughs> oh, I didn't save after this. <laughs> Lovely. Wait. <laughs> I forgot about this. Skip this. <laughs> The king has ordered you to waste away in the castle basement, and before we even had time to sing a sweet song about it, my dear heart, I can barely look upon you knowing what comes next. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my god. So to anyone who's new, I already did that part in my... in my run yesterday, but I didn't finish it, and I ended up dying I went and fought so sorry, and then I think I died to a pyro or something like that. So, the game saved that I already did that cutscene, but it didn't save that. It saved that I had seen it, not that I had finished it. Anyway, I'll do this again. So, how the title says the secrets run, I'm going to be trying to get as many secrets in the game as I possibly can, but I am going to be skipping through most of the stuff that I've seen already, like that you see just in every run. And the reason I just skipped through that lowly strike right there was because I did it yesterday in my before I ended. multicolored tile puzzle. You did it. My directions helped you. I'm a good explainer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What? I screamed? Wait, what? I scream? Sure, I'll try. Ah, 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 ah. I'm screaming very slowly. <laughs> Wow, that choreography. I can't believe I'm friends with a bona fide opera star. <laughs> Wowie. Oh god. 
elevator says R3. What does the R stand for? For Tony? The screw-shaped pasta. I used it to hold my sentry station together. <laughs> my whole station is made out of carbohydrates. <laughs> Alright, so you get more easter eggs if you go through there with Undyne, I guess. Because I remember it saying something different than that. Um... There's my 10,000 gold spider donut. I need to grind for more money, don't I? Great. Because I didn't do that enough last time. <laughs> it's just a regular wall. There's a wall that way, Sans. Guess it doesn't matter. Yes, you are wrong. I have died several times. short for Hotland, right? Wowie. Fancy Scamancy restaurant. After tasting my cooking, that seems pointless, right? I bet they can't even make spaghetti. Probably not. Careful. Lots of hotels are infested nowadays. They can slide under closed doors, under closed door holes, one inch high. What do I mean? You'll know if you see it. You hear a muffled bark behind one of the doors. What was that? <laughs> so the annoying dog is behind this door right here. Do I have a hot dog on me? I think it's in the box. Yes. Oh, hold on. There's actually a bunch of secrets with this. <laughs> I don't have the dog residue, though. I got rid of that. Whoops. Um, if you put- if you have the dog residue in your inventory, you put one under and two will slide back out. <laughs> you hear shuffling. Seems like you, you could put something under the door. Put, no put. I'm a put. You put a hot cat in front of the door. You hear growling. <laughs> you hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put, no put. I'm a put. You put a hot dog in front of the door. The white paw shoots out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room. But it keeps pressing down too hard, and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. No idea. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got hush puppy. Hush puppy heals 65 HP. This wonderful spell will stop a dog from casting magic. You can actually use this on Endogony. Stick on a dog name. 
seems busy. So, if you saw my secrets playthrough yesterday, you might have seen where I found something called So Sorry in the art club. And basically, the guy has one hint to find his room. And his hint just so happens to be right here. Learning how to draw? Come to the art. Come for. Come to the art lessons on the second floor. Which is the second floor of Hotland, not the second floor of this hotel. Located in a similar place. Located in a similar place, just meaning like. kind of an area with no collision box out in the ramp. Do have a CT or a cinnamon bun? I do have a CT. No cinnamon bun. Alright. Um, if you give a uh, cinnamon bun to this guy or a CT to this guy, you'll flatten the cinnamon bun paper thin and slide it under, or just pour the CT under the door and they'll be incredibly happy with your service and give you 99 gold for unknown reasons. Why is this person trying? Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. Sorry about that. Alright, talk. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. Sorry about that too. But he's kind of cute too. Come on, Caddy, don't you have any standards? Nope. Okay, like, the annoying thing is... He'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect, but he just acts really weird, and then acts like it's our fault that he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy. <laughs> no one's in chat yet. Got a couple lurkers. The girls were talking about me. They said I should stop acting like they owe me. And if I want to be friends with them, I should just, uh, try to see things from their perspective? Wow. Oh. Poor, naive little buddy. They've brainwashed you. Friendship is just a hot person's way of making you their slave. So, uh... What time would they want to hang out? I love burger pants. Oh, uh, yeah, he should come look for junk with us. But like, if we let him hang out with us, I just worry it'll be, be really super fun. Um, that was not what I was gonna say. But I was close, right? Well, that kind of guy, you hang out with him once, then he wants to hang out all the time. But don't you feel bad for him, Braddy? Poor Burger Pants. Think about how cool we are compared to him. We'd be saving his life with our friendship. His life, Braddy. Uh, so? 
think of all the glam burgers he could get for us. So is he free after work? <laughs> Those two really like sequins and glue. Not sure why. They want to hang out after work? <laughs> yes! I won't let you down, little buddy. Thank you. You've brought a tear to the eye of this old man. So, uh, where do they want to go? They want to hang out at the garbage dump? Well, nowhere to go but up, right, little buddy? Anytime, little buddy. Love that guy. <laughs> That's not what I meant to. Actually, I don't need that. Don't need that. I think I'm just gonna grind enemies in the core for a little bit instead. Because it's gonna take a while since I don't really have much, so I can't really just buy a whole bunch of glide classes and sell them like I did last time. Unless I want to start off buying a pair of glide glasses at the time. Battery-powered force field. I was gonna... Whatever. Alright, stop. And now suddenly they're all off. There's a quick little secret right here. Because I did the Shiren Easter egg, you sing Shiren's song, Night Night starts to look sleepy. This fight is actually going to go by faster since I know. Yeah. I only had to do one attack from him.
Wait. I'm an idiot. I'm not getting help from that. Because I don't have the uh, other armor. Oh well. But because I knew the song that I sung with Shira, I was able to sing better and put him to sleep faster, basically. There's the ice from Hotland. Not Hotland, uh, Snowden. Complete opposite. Whatever. And with that, the, uh... I can now go fight Metaton. I don't actually have to... I don't actually have to go and do the gauntlet. Which I believe it's called. But I'm going to anyway. Which is... The gauntlet's this thing right here with the three sets of enemies. This time we are healing. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Good sirs. I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> How did I dodge that? Oh crap, what did astigmatism say? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I have to guess because this attack is actually... The attack with Final Froggit and astigmatism is easier than astigmatism. Just right. Thank you. Sweet. There's 50. 
there. Oops. Pray for you. Oops. I shouldn't have gotten hit there. That was stupid. I should just move slowly on that. Yeah, slowly the whole time, not just half the time. Whatever. Okay, that's enough. Time for Easter eggs. Hey man, I'm back. What's up, man? I am about to get... Two Easter eggs. Okay, yeah. Um, once you get to the core, you can't call Papyrus anymore. So now's the time where I actually need to go back to befriend Undyne so that I can get the uh, Undyne and Papyrus together. Together phone calls. Anyway. <laughs> Fabulous. I love this easter egg so much. It's not really an easter egg, but it kind of is. Don't you love it? And now I have 30 out of 20 health again. It's a lamp. There's no light switch. It says that stars make their own light. Of course, Magneton. Of course. It's some sort of giant bottle of perfume. Eau de Rectangle. The cap is so comically large you can't open it. That thing that looks like a lampshade is the cap. It's locked from the inside. <laughs> Did you enjoy your stay? What? Room? Key? No, we don't do that. If you leave your room, you'll have to pay again. <laughs> There's one papyrus, one more papyrus call in here, I believe. Heading into the core, hmm? You might not be able to call past there. I know, it sounds awful. How will you get by without me? Well, I have confidence you will find a way. I will talk to you again, so do not worry. Good luck out there. Quit it, you don't have to say goodbye. <laughs> So basically the idea is, since the core is this massive tower of metal and electricity, the cell phone signal gets blocked right there. So, now I am finally going to not go yet. I need to get the... I need to get the mystery key first. I almost forgot that. I got 600 gold. Sorry. I got 500 gold. No, because I started with 35. I got 600 gold from the core alone. That is insane.
"Hey, you should come to Snowdon and visit me. I've been working on a few things. A few sentences to stand around and repeat." <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Toby's making fun of his own game. And I guess every other RPG ever made. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so I couldn't call Papyrus from right here earlier in the game. Can I call him now? No. No, I can't. And as he's standing outside his house, he shouldn't be. He should be outside Undyne's house. Okay. Just making sure. Yesterday was strange. I've never had people just role playing in chat for hours. Or at all. Pet, pet, pet. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, I know. Plot twist, if you pet lesser dog enough, you can climb his neck all the way out of the underground. It's perfect. So, I am going to be murdering my voice today because I have called Papyrus in every single room in the game. Now I get to call Papyrus and Undyne in every room in the game. Also, there's a few easter eggs right here. Right then. I can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally he nails the landing. One time, Alphys's, uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Hmm. Hmm. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Look inside the bone drawer. Most people don't do this. Not really sure why. Annoying dog number eight. Devin is some top of the line MTT thing, but you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. There's a silver, there's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Seems legit. I hate cold food, so Alpha's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? 
it matters what you say here. It actually matters what you say here. The game will remember that, and Undyne will repeat it tutorial later in the game. with my mom and almost got skin cancer. He's so hot. You're so hot. Oh. Alright, then that, uh... That sucks, I guess? Anyway. Yeah, I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Elphus built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Sit down and progress? Sure, why not? I'll get you something to drink. Here's some Easter eggs. I haven't stood up from my chair in like an hour. I don't know what you're talking about. So, sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder, that's blue, but whatever. Tea box, blatantly correct choice. Fridge, full of food. Sword, acquired taste. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords, if you weren't my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! Undyne. Select with Z. Are you... hitting on me? Yes. <laughs> that sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Yes. What? Really? That rules! <laughs> oh, soda? Actually, even though you point to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? Now, I don't know what that yellow soda tastes like, but the Dr. Pepper I have next to me is wonderful. Oh, you want to have some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. And here we go. I'm gonna skip your wonderful story. Oh, 
way she just picks you up sideways. Down them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? I'm a pound wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yes, I did point it out in time. And the fridge, and the sword, and everything that was on the table. How will you put them in? I'm gonna do it carefully. You place the noodles in one at a time. <laughs> nice. Step. Turn up the heat. I'ma turn down the heat. Left? You fool! This burner only goes one way. Oh well. supposed to do that. <laughs> this time, don't hold anything back. So just like all the bosses, I'm gonna spare her. Do your worst. What's the matter, scared? What the hell is the hole up? Come on already! It's getting hot in here! <laughs> Still in a flaming house. <laughs> Alright, Undyne. Still only does one damage. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowie, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. So you ran here just to be on the phone? Yep. Then you must have something extremely cool to say about your house. Nope! <laughs> and so it begins. Sounds like you're near Undyne's house. Hey, we should go visit Undyne. I'm right here. I love when a plan comes together. Well, I think we should hang out with Papyrus. Really? Can we? That bird will, will carry anyone past the gap. It never says no. When I was younger, it gave me a lift. It took an hour. But this bird never once thought of giving up. Cherish this bird. That's where it came from, I forgot! Well, are you cherishing? <laughs> Cherish harder! It wasn't a YouTuber that made that was a that made that a, a thing. That was freaking Undyne. <laughs> that's Napsablik's house. They kind of keep to themselves, but that's a good ghost. I try to be good neighbor, but I think they're scared of me. Come on, what's scary about a good-natured invite to wrestle? They're incorporeal anyway. It's locked. Oh, um, before I open this door, 
there's actually one easter egg. There's actually another easter egg with the mystery key that I want to get first. So we'll be back here later. Oh, you're hanging out with Naps the Book? That's great. I haven't seen them hanging out with anyone since... Well, their cousin. They would both watch TV at all hours of the day. Then they would practice these weird performances. Where'd they go? Don't feel like you have to live up to their cousin. Just be your lovable old garbage self. <laughs> their cousin is Metaton, by the way. Maps to Book family. Maps to Book's family used to run this farm, but they've all passed on to different jobs since there's not much business here. Them and their cousins stayed behind to run the family farm, but no one's seen their cousin for a long time. Not Maps to Book's all alone. Be nice to them, okay? Cherish this ghost. I already did win snail racing, and I got second place at snail racing too, so... Anyway. Hello, Val. The garbage dump. So many g great things come from there. The only reason we have modern technology is because of all the human junk that flows from the surface. Plus, it's a great place to meet girls! <laughs> Alphas. Wait, don't quote me on that one! <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. That's where I met Alphys for the first time. I was looking for cool swords when I saw her. Uh, standing there, staring into the abyss. She looked pretty, um, contemplative. So I asked her where she thought the abyss led to. She looked up at me, shocked, and went red in the face. But I'm scary, so I'm used to that kind of stuff. <laughs> then she kept explaining all her different theories. She went on for hours. It was, I was so captivated. After that, I kept running into her here. And now we're friends. Yeehaw. Oh my god, don't make me tell this story again. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Bye, Val. <laughs> oh, Lord. Those flowers. One day, they just started to grow there. I swear, it's like they have a mind of their own. Really now? That's ridiculous, though. What's up, Wash? I clean off all of the trash and arrange it into symmetrical piles. It's hard work, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> That's Toby just straight up validating the fact that this is a reused sprite. Like, this is the same thing as this. That's awesome. <laughs> Justice. The toughest monster that ever lived. He fought in the war between humans and monsters. And he survived. He's a real hero. Are you gonna buy something? I already bought something. I think. Yeah, I got a CT. That's for uh, GoPro later. Oops. That river connects to Snowden and Hotland. If you need to get from one place to another, jump in. <laughs> Look, that's all we got for public transport, okay? 
So what? A field of echo flowers. They babble back and forth to each other until their words become meaningless noise. Creepy, huh? Stop calling me from that creepy room! <laughs> so I wonder if that was supposed to say something before. Once you get familiar with this room, you don't even need to light up the mushrooms. I know. I mean, the path to Timmy Village is never lit up here. But why would you want to go there? It's down south if you want to avoid it. I already got all the easter eggs from Tim Village, but whatever. Yeah, I didn't think so. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna take a bathroom break in just a second. So... Bum, doo, bum, doo, bum.